front on Live Doucet, and this is uh, this is my uh, Martin D18, 1973 D18, the same year I was born. Um, and I'm going to play uh, Wallow, and I'm going to help you learn it if you want to learn it. <clears throat> so I'm capoed at the second fret. I'm in standard tuning. Uh, this song is based around a B minor shape, uh, like that, which of course in this case is a C sharp minor. Um, and it's, it's a song that uh, employs a similar sort of Travis picking technique um, to what you would have maybe uh, seen in New Orleans, in the song New Orleans, or a few other songs of mine. Um, fortunately, I have these gigantic fake fingernails that are uh, acrylic, and um, I only have them on my thumb, first, second, and third fingers. The pinky has a long fingernail on it because I haven't yet cut it, but I plan to, uh, because I don't think they look especially nice. Anyway, they help me play um, certain things, like this. So first of all, if you look at my thumb, the standard thing that the thumb is almost always doing in songs like this, whether it's my own song or songs by uh, other people who employ similar approaches, um, this is the band. The thumb here is the bass and drums. And then my other fingers are the singers and the guitar players, I suppose, if you will. Broken records, buzzing flies, empty bottles. Graphic evidence of war As it heals, pick the scab, scratch the itch, don't let it seal Cause this is a martyr's scar So the basic chords I'm gonna to refer to them by the shapes that they are Understanding that we're actually a whole step further north from that So what sound, what I'm calling a B, mi a B minor actually sounds like a C sharp minor, but I'm going to refer to these chords in terms of how they relate to the capo, as if the guitar were shorter than it really is. So, B minor, that's essentially a G, but it's kind of a major 7. That right there, that note, gives you the major 7. That's kind of an A chord. For those of you who are following along without a capo, C sharp minor, A major 7, B major, F sharp minor, A, B major, and C sharp minor. Um, so there's a bass line thing happening here. going, then you can add the rest of the, of the right hand. So the thumb one, thumb two pattern is pretty standard for the right hand. Thumb one, thumb two. And it's the basic right hand pattern for almost all of this kind of music. I don't know what it's called. Is it, is it folk music? Is it um, Travis picking? Is it... Uh, Kind of a finger style bluegrass. I don't. I don't really know. Um, I think uh, Gordon Lightfoot has a lot to do. Had a lot to do with with developing this style. Um, but when you add the bass part, with the rest of the right hand fingering, you get this.
So that's your verse.